Hello everybody, Mr. J here, back here today with another video. And in today's video, well today, we're going to go after one of these PC fans who I feel is a child, just like the rest of these children who are out here preaching this anti-consumer, anti-gamer shit. I feel like most of these guys preaching this shit have a lot of things in common. Number one, how did they get their start on YouTube? Well, instead of like, you know, like normal YouTubers in this community where, yeah, we occasionally make our drama videos, but we focus on our gameplay. Most of these idiots don't have any gameplay up. Example, the guy I'm commentating on. He doesn't have a single gameplay video on his fucking channel. The next thing I want to discuss is, I feel most of these guys started gaming last generation because you can tell by the way they talk about gaming, they don't know any fucking thing. The next thing I want to talk about is, these guys all seem to be children who don't have a job and can't afford anything. So, just like rags, bitch ass, they're sitting here begging for people on the internet to buy them things. I think that's pathetic, but I digress. So, with that being said, I just want to say one last thing before we begin today's commentary. If exclusive games were such an evil practice, if exclusive games were anti-consumer and anti-gamer, we've had YouTubers out here on YouTube for a long time who have said to everyone that they strongly believe that the PC is the best gaming platform. Those being Black Bond, Blackbuster Critic, and hell, even Solid Rev in 7th level have said this. With that being said, my question to all you fucking idiots out here preaching this anti-consumer, anti-gamer shit, if everything you're saying about exclusives is true, how come nobody intelligent is actually backing you? Exclusives make the gaming world go round. And yes, the concept of exclusives may annoy a lot of you, but they're a necessary evil. I personally love Rich of Review Tech USA. He's got a sexual voice, can be quite funny, and overall has an entertaining personality. However, when it comes to his content, it's a mixed bag of ups and downs for me. When he's not making 20 videos on the Switch, sometimes you'll find he has interesting opinions on certain things, and unfortunately sometimes you'll see him spewing complete stupidity. And when it comes to stupidity, doesn't matter how much I like your channel or your content, I'll call you out on Let's all keep in mind that he likes to call people out on their stupidity. Mind you, he says this right after he said that Persona 5 looks like a PS2 game and Metacritic isn't reliable. Huh. The oxymoron in these comments. On it. Because I'm an attention whore. Because I'm an attention whore. If you really think people who watch your videos up to this point didn't figure out you're a fucking attention whore from the fact being that you only make videos on other man and fan bases on, the, on YouTube or in the gaming community world, I, I don't know how stupid you think your audience is. Well, I mean, I have a clue because, well, how do I put this? Oh, yeah, you are a rag supporter. So this video right here, it's short. So don't expect much, but it's short for a reason. And you shall see that very soon. I also do want to bring to attention that this video is old, so there are a lot of speculations here that are quite outdated. But the bone I have to pick with Rich are his personal views on the speculations of that time. For you see, our supposed man of the consumers wasn't primarily too fond of the idea that Bloodborne could have come to the PC during that period of time. And that can be clearly seen with the cancerous title of this video. Yeah, but the title of this video doesn't insinuate anything you're saying at all. If anything, it insinuates that, yeah, it would be a stupid move on Sony's part, which is true and from a business perspective, it would have been stupid if they would have let Bloodborne become a multi-platform game. Video, we quickly come to realize that Rich is a man for the corporation. Or maybe Review Tech USA isn't a fucking idiot and understands basic business practices. If you put your money into a product, you want that product to be only available for your hardware. Simple. Do also note, that I took it into consideration that he could have changed his mind over time. So I went out of my way to tweet him at least three times with the link to this video. 
asking him if he still believes in what he said. And as you could imagine, much to my dismay, I had not received an answer. I waited at least a month before I felt it was appropriate to actually make this video. Instead of using, I don't know, deductive reasoning like an intelligent person would, you decided to take the route of a dumbass and an attention whore. Instead of you going, huh, maybe Review Tech USA is too busy to give a shit about an opinion he had in 2015 that I'm sure has changed over the next, the last two fucking years, maybe this video is completely pointless. You, that, that didn't occur to you? Fucking idiot. So, here we go. Bit up and that up. Sony, don't do it. Don't fucking do it. You make from software, keep Bloodborne exclusive to the PS4. Great job, already proving that you're more for the corporation than the consumers. You didn't even try to hide it. And you do realize with that opening statement that you're advocating for Sony. You realize that, right? Sony, the company that raised the price of PlayStation Plus. Sony, the company that tried to trademark Let's Play. You named two negative things about Sony. Let's talk about the positive things about Sony. How Sony was one of the first corporations last generations to have a region, a region free platform, thus forcing companies like Nintendo to do it. Um, let's talk about the fact being that Sony welcomed one of my favorite game developers, Hideo Kojima, into their company with open arms, ready, ready, willing, and able for him to make a great fucking game. So there's a rumor going around, actually it's a tad bit more than a rumor, that Bloodborne, which is, at least for now, a PS4 exclusive, could be coming to PC, if you believe Amazon France. The Amazon France listing lists Bloodborne to be Windows 7 and Windows 8 compatible, and it says it's currently unavailable. Like I said, this video's old, so these rumors are proven to be false. But let's take this into consideration for a minute. When this rumor was floating around, channels such as Rich's here should have been embracing the idea of this possibility. But instead of doing so, he took it upon himself to go on the internet and actively encourage Sony to continue doing their anti-consumer practices. And the evidence for that is right here, on YouTube, on the internet, where everyone can see anti-consumer practices by keeping Bloodborne exclusive. I'm sorry, but are you fucking stupid? First off, let's go over one thing straight. How is it anti-consumer, or how is it bad on Sony's part for them to want a game that they have paid for? How is it bad that they want to keep that game on their platform only? How is that bad? I'm waiting for a logical explanation on this. That's like saying that Nintendo is the most anti-consumer corporation because they help pay for the development of Bayonetta 2 and they only want it on the Wii U or Nintendo platforms. So because Nintendo paid for the development of that game, because that game would not exist without Nintendo, just like Bloodborne wouldn't exist without Sony, they are the worst anti-consumer corporation in the world. I'm sorry, but um... Shut the fuck up! And yet, two years later, two years later, people are still supporting this channel. The most backlash received from this were just some dislikes. I'm not saying people should have unsubbed from him in the masses, nor am I saying people should dedox him or harass him for this, but this is the kind of shit that he should have been called out for. But here's the thing though, dude, you can't say somebody should call Review Tech USA because of an opinion he had in 2015 when you support Rags, who in 2017 has been proven to be a racist, a casual gamer, a fraud, an e-beggar, and just an overall terrible fucking person. By other YouTubers. For instance, where's Alpha Omega Sin? I thought he liked calling people out on their shit. Point being, it doesn't matter if you're good friends with a YouTuber or not. When stupidity is said, you need to call them out on, on their shit. Point being, it doesn't matter if you're good friends with a YouTuber or not. When stupidity is said, you need to call them out. Out on. Since this guy feels so strongly about if you're friends with a YouTuber and they say something stupid, you should call them out. Why hasn't he said anything about rags and his racial comments or his stupid comments about women? Why hasn't he said anything about go get and these idiots going around spreading lies and rumors, stalking Brian over Twitter and stalking me over Twitter? Or why isn't he saying anything about these idiots who are going around saying things like Kojima owns the Fox engine or the parts of the Fox engine were used in the Decima engine? Why aren't you saying anything to these people because they're saying some really stupid shit 
Now, this could be a total mishap. This could be just a complete mistake on Amazon France's part, and the game is going to stay exclusive to the PlayStation 4. But haven't we, haven't we been down this road before, folks? Oh, yeah, we, the same thing kind of happened with Rise, Son of Rome. The same thing happened with Dead Rising 3, where there is a leak, a leak on a retail page like Amazon, and then the next thing you know... The game actually comes out for the platform. Hmm. I have a feeling that's going to happen with Bloodborne. And that would have been awesome, right? That would have meant PC gamers wouldn't have to go out of their way to buy a $400 console to get their hands on a game as great as... Number one, it's 2017, and very few PlayStation 4s actually go for 400 bucks. Hell, since 2014, you've been able to buy a PS4 for as low as $150. The next thing I want to say is, maybe you should go over the fact being that because you yourself are an e-beggar like most of these PC gamers out here, or I'm sorry, these PC trolls and PC frauds out here on the internet on YouTube, maybe you, just like the rest of them, can't afford a fucking PlayStation 4. I know one of you PC frauds doesn't even have fucking internet. The next thing I want to say is, you keep bringing up Bloodborne, but you keep also failing to mention the fact that Sony owns the intellectual property of Demon Souls and Bloodborne, which is why they're exclusives. You can't say it's anti-consumer for Sony to keep a product that they own exclusive to their console. It's actual. It's actually a business tactic. It makes logical sense, and there's nothing stopping you or nothing like in the legal constitution of where you live that says, hey, if you go out and buy a PS4, you will be shot on sight or you will die. Because guess what? Anti-consumer means that the corporation is doing something that keeps you from buying their products. Bloodborne. I couldn't imagine a negative reception towards this idea. Who would be stupid enough to think that's a bad idea? And Sony, if you let this happen, you are idiots. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't hear you. Could, could you say that louder? And Sony, if you let this happen, you are idiots. No, 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 no. Please, please, say it again. And Sony, if you let this happen... You are idiots. Fuck. You. Now, I you know, I was like you for a second, and I was thinking like, huh, maybe Capcom will release Street Fighter V onto the Xbox One so that I, an Xbox gamer, don't go out, have to go out and pay four, three, four hundred dollars for a PlayStation 4 to play Street Fighter V. But then I realized something. Oh, right. Sony helped make Street Fighter V. So that's why it's exclusive to the console. Because Sony... The people who own the PlayStation 4, they put their money as a corporation to help develop this game. Same goes with Bloodborne. Same goes with all their first-party exclusives. So with that being said, it makes complete sense that since Sony helped Capcom make this game, Capcom kind of has no choice because the game wouldn't exist without Sony. So to show Sony, you know, thank you for helping us complete our game. Same with Bloodborne. We're going to make it exclusive to your product. So that means if people want to play this game, they know what they gotta do it's not anti-consumer there's no there's nobody out there holding a gun up to your head saying you buy a ps4 i'll fucking shoot you is there because if there isn't then guess what a game being exclusive is an anti-consumer i know when i talk about exclusives i get people riled up because people say they can't stand exclusives this is usually what i hear in the comment section rich you're just such a fat retard exposed exclusives are an antiquated Business model exclusives shouldn't even exist. All games should be for all platforms. Exposed. And when I talk about exclusives, that's all I hear all the time, what that rocket scientist just said. And there's many factors as to why you hear comments like that. As it's been said many times, exclusives only artificially bolster sales. It's not just the sheer fact that they're anti-consumer, but they're a dated and flawed tactic into shipping console unit. But they're a dated and flawed tactic into shipping console unit. You know, it's funny you say this, and considering the video before, you were talking about how people donated and sent you Steam cards, you e-begging piece of shit. So with that being said, let me say one thing. A lot of the people who are going around preaching that exclusives are anti-game or anti-consumer, a lot of these people are just mad because A, they can't afford the console that they want these games for, or B, they can't afford the games themselves. One of the people who's preaching exclusives are anti-game or anti-consumer, this motherfucker doesn't even have internet. 
that should say enough right there. So let's get one thing straight. Exclusives are none of the things these PC clowns are saying. If that's true, go ask Black Bond if, P if exclusives are anti-gamer, anti-consumer, and see what he says. With that being said, though, no. Exclusives give a console meaning. Exclusive games are what help a console have an identity. Why do you think the Xbox One is pretty much dead? Because it has no games that are only for that system that make people go, I need to go out and buy an Xbox One so I can play this game. The PlayStation 4 has that, and all Nintendo consoles have that. The 360 sort of had it, and the, X the original Xbox damn sure had it. But the Xbox One, due to it not having exclusives, it's failing. As the current rise of PC gaming has shown, people will favor and move on to a platform that is better. Exclusives can only sustain a platform for so long. Microsoft sees this. There is a reason they're moving their exclusives over to the PC. And now, to a lesser extent, even Sony is making the move. I really have to explain how stupid this is again. I'm really feeling like I, I'm constantly repeating myself with this. And this, like, the more you talk, the more you can see that you have no gaming experience past the seventh generation. But you know what's funny is the same people who preach that in the comment section are the same ones that say, The eighth generation just sucks on my ass. All I need is a PC and a Wii U for Nintendo's exclusives and that's it. Oh wait, what, what did you do? What do you need the Wii U for? The Nintendo's console for? You heard me, Captain Titzla. I need it for its exclusive. It's exclusives. Fuck you, you have man tits that jiggle. Oh, ho, ho. you need a Nintendo console for its exclusives. You want to know why? Because it's exclusives that differentiate the console hardware. Yeah, but that's far, far from the truth nowadays. If you were to rip open a PS4, Xbox One, or even a Wii U, the hardware differences are minuscule. Thus further cementing that I think you started gaming last generation. Are you serious? The PS4 is miles stronger than the Xbox One. And the Xbox One and PS4 are miles stronger than the Wii U. You'd know this if you actually looked at their specs, but considering this ignorant ass comment you just made, I know for a fact you fucking didn't. These games aren't suddenly better because of the platform they're on. Instead of these companies trying to differentiate themselves with exclusives, and instead of taking a loss on trying to ship console units, why not instead just put your games on as many platforms as possible? Now, let's go over an actual fact here. Now, let's discuss the reason of why it's actually hurting the corporations and hurting these companies if they were not Microsoft, because Microsoft at this point is just a glorified third-party company. No, we're talking about company with first-party studios like Nintendo and Sony. Actually, we're only talking about Nintendo and Sony. So with that being said, let's look at Nintendo and Sony's first-party games. Let's see what it would take for Nintendo to port Zelda Breath of the Wild onto other consoles. Oh, wait, they'd have to spend more money actually developing a port, actually developing a DRM so you PC frauds don't hack and steal the fucking game. And then they have to actually release the, the product out there. So that's a couple extra million that really isn't worth spending. Uh, same goes with Sony. Let's look at something like Horizon Zero Dawn or Neo or Kingdom Hearts 1.5 2.5 HD Remix they would have to add, spend an extra set of money that they've already spent, mind you, they've already spent millions developing these fucking games. They'd have to spend an extra couple of millions to port the game, develop the DRM so you PC frauds can't hack into the game and steal it, and then they'd have to ship out the units, thus spending more money that isn't worth it, because porting your, con your game over to another system does not guarantee it will sell. There's a huge example of that. Why is Street Fighter V on PS4 outselling the PC version? Why is Nier Automata on PS4? outselling the PC version. Is it because all you PC clowns play are RTS games, uh, sh first person shooters, and things like Gary's Mod? Hmm. Huh. Oh yeah, one more thing. And then they'd have to spend time optimizing the game to make sure it runs the same or properly on other hardwares. Example of a game not being optimized very well, you guys remember Bayonetta 1 on PS3? Well, yeah, that happened because Platinum Games didn't take the time to optimize the PS3 version very well, thus giving us support with horrendous 
fucking frame rate problems and well a lot of input lag possible ah uh, but you know what it is nintendo and sony must hate money that has to be it they hate money you know as i look at listen to your stupid ass make these dumb ass comments i look at the sales figures of the ps4 the xbox one the wii u and the switch i look and i see the fact being that microsoft you know the company that's porting their games over to pc the company that has no fucking exclusives it seems like their profits are down while sony and nintendo's are up so i'm sorry who doesn't like money here with all that being said guys that is the end of today's commentary and what have we learned today? Well, we've learned that these PC trolls, these PC frauds making up these words, anti-consumer, anti-gamer. I actually told a couple of my friends who are, you know, legit PC gamers, actually buy and pay for their own games, bought and paid for their own PCs, and actually have, you know, videos and streams of them streaming games on their PC, running in 4K, running in 120 frames per second, or running at 60 frames per second. But I digress, because the people who I hang around that game on PC, they're not frauds like this loser who wants to sit here and talk about how games should go to PC, but he doesn't have any gameplay of, his, of any game from his PC. He doesn't even have a Steam account linked into his fucking channel. But... I digress. So with all that being said, remember guys, if you're a console gamer and you deal with these trolls who are out here making up these words, just remember this. Ask them, what has Black Bond said about anti-consumerism or anti-gamer? Ask them, what is a p actual guy who has gone out and bought all their things for P their PC, who actually plays their games? What has they said about these logical little theories you faggots are coming up with? Uh, do they agree with you or do they believe that you guys are idiots just like rags? But with all that being said, see you guys later. Mr. J out. I'm off at Beat Breath of the Wild. I've got 116 shrines down, four more to go, and well, I'm so ready to kick in into ass.